Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 45. A new season is upon us. And this is the first war of the season, and we're going up against an alliance called Secret Kingdom. Okay, well, here we go. Season 45 kickoff see who they've banned all right they're starting right off with some strong bands silk void and hercules and we already have titania and hulk banned for the entire season and we have ghost and um kingpin that are ban immune all right let's take a look see what they got planned for us here I take path three in sections one and two. Oh boy. So first off, I don't really know that much about this guy. So I'm going to have to uh, take a look and, and uh, let me see. Does he even get a um, armor up? Immune to, oh boy, lots of stuff. I don't really know. He's relatively new. Um, so I, unless I see an armor up, it looks like I can just bring in someone that can uh, counter him. So he doesn't really benefit from this node. Then you've got Red Skull, who definitely benefits from the node. And he is a global defender. Hmm. Well, I think Corvus. I'm thinking Corvus can still do this. If not Corvus, um, it would be Namor. Yeah. Okay. Let's see who else we got. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 Corvus right there. So Corvus is definitely coming in. That Ant Man. I'm trying to think. I know Corvus can do it, but I think there was a better option. So I'm going to uh, think about that. Um, on that particular node, though, I think Corvus might be the best uh, option. Could be Hulkling, too. Hulkling might be able to do it as well. Hmm. We'll see. But right now, I'm seeing Corvus... And then we've got some uh, uh, mini bosses here. Hmm. Let's see. Attacker triggers a buff. Okay. And power sting. So. That guy there, Claire could do that fight. I think my Wiccan is on defense, so... But Claire could do that fight, I'm thinking. Let's see, this Gore. Claire usually is good for uh, Gore. Defender, power gain... Yeah. Uh, Claire could probably do this fight as well. And we know this one really just needs somebody that does physical damage. They already um, banned Hercules because that's who I would have brought in for uh, that node. And I think my Lady Deathstrike is also on 
um, defense. Hmm. And what about this one here? Ugh. Mm. Well, I guess that's not bad as long as you are aggressive. And Claire could do that fight as well. So looks like I'm definitely going to bring Claire. And I'm definitely bringing Corvus. The third one will be if I see that a Vox has a better counter, I will bring in a champion that can do that Vox fight there. And if they can do Ant-Man Future better than uh, Corvus, then we might do that. But otherwise, it'll definitely be uh, Corvus and uh, Claire. And, uh, and then I can take Gore or Hulkling or um, that Nova. Hmm. Yeah. I think we'll do that. And I and if I can do it with just those two, I hate relying on just one person because it's almost guaranteed I'm gonna have to heal up. <laughs> you know? But um I might uh bring in uh White Magneto if uh White Magneto is needed for his uh pre buffs on someone. So we'll see. I also have my Spider-Man uh, 2099, but I don't see anywhere that he would be good for. You know, he would be good for this one, but not on this node. Incinerate and shock. Yeah. And let's take a look up here. Hmm. This Doom, Conflictor, hmm, nah. Um, ooh, I wonder if um, Spider-Man 2099, I guess those are debuffs, so yeah, no. I was also thinking Hitmonkey, but I hate power gain type nodes i really do all right so claire corvus and a mystery guest all right so we'll be right back and the mystery guest is magneto and you guys know i took magneto up to rank four put some six stones in him because i figured if i'm going to be bringing this guy to alliance war folks are are putting in rank four and five defenders. So rank threes, I think take a little bit too much damage. So uh, I'm gonna try to have all the attackers I use at rank four. All right, so here we go. I'm boosting up. Uh, I'm not gonna do any really giant boosts, but I'm looking through and I'm like, hmm, don't really have any of the, the big giant boosts. And I may go after this and uh, open up some crystals and see if I can get some boosts that way. But this first fight, I don't really know much about Vox and it's gonna show. So we've got Magneto, Vox is metal. So I'm doing parry heavy, okay? Pretty straightforward, right? And I'm building up my prowesses. And I'm like, okay, we got this. We're going to do what we normally do. You can see that it's some good damage. Okay, I was able to block it. Didn't do a lot of damage. So, yeah, we're good. Look at that. Prowess going up. Okay, just block. Okay, no problem. Okay, no no parry there, but, but we're good. All right, still no parry. All right. So I've started hitting into him a little bit. But do you see the icon all the way to the right? 
and then that happened. I was like, what just happened? How did I get hit like that? So when uh, he fires off his, um, I don't know, special or whatever, there is like, and look at the damage and I'm already too low. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try to build all the way up, but didn't get all the prowesses. This should have been double. I think I was at 19 and I wasn't sure why my prowesses weren't going up. Look at that. Almost, almost. And I was so mad. We had this fight. This fight, perfectly doable. That one issue where I got hit full. I don't know what happened there. Was he unblockable? One of the things I don't like is when they have a prompt that's the same color as the unblockable. Because I'm usually busy focusing on the fight. And, and when I see out of the corner of my eye you know, something, and it looks like it's unblockable. I'm like, oh wait, unblockable. And it's not, okay? So as you can see, I went right back in with uh, Magneto. And I'm kind of watching now, because I'm like, how come I didn't get my full um, uh, prowesses? All right, see that undermine? That makes me think it's unblockable, because it's the same color or very close to it. And you can see why I'm just going in. I'm just like, whatever, okay? And look, he gets armor ups. I didn't know that. So he benefits from that node. If I had known that, this would have been Gallon. I would have brought in Gallon uh, for this path, okay? But in any case, we got him down. Now, we've got Corpse, all right? By the way, this is exactly how last season started. First fight of the season and first death of the season. All right, so anyway, we're going in here and I made, I think I made um, a mistake here. I am not doing the proper um, rotation. I started doing it towards the end but I'm trying to get him down quick. I don't want this to go on. All right, so here we go. Yeah, love that striker, must say. Uh, Cause I was worried that I was gonna run out of uh, charges. And I had already just, you know, got my death uh, on that path. And I hate path death. You know, if I if I die on a mini, okay, but a path of death, don't like it. Now, this fight is a very straightforward and easy fight, okay? So I'm not worried about this one. Do a parry, bam, all those armor breaks. Look at that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go in. I'm going in. I'm not gonna use my normal um, rotation. And then that happened. And I'm like, are you kidding me? All right, I got clipped. Let me do it again. Okay. Let me beat into her block. And then she's unblockable again. And then she gets me. Are you kidding me? Now that was me. That was all me. Can't blame it on the inputs. Can't blame it on nothing else but me. I sat here and was like, I don't believe that. Because I went for it. I beat into her block. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna beat into the block and then back off. And as soon as she attacks again, I'm good. Instead, she fired off her special. And instead of being able to evade most of it, like I normally did, she got me on the second one and then the third one. And it was a wrap. I was like, wow, I don't believe this. So that's another death. Now, it was, I believe it was this war, first war of the season, and I can't remember after this. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm thinking Corvus is, he's not shock immune, 
but he does not take any damage, right? So I'm like, okay, this should be um, pretty straightforward. It's a tech, and I already fought a tech, so I'm a little bit ramped up, all right? So there we go. Now, I remember that doing intercepts will remove his um, armor up so I can get less glancing, all right? But look at this. This is not going well at all. All right, so I decided to block that, evade that, okay? And look at this, just glance, glance, mm. And then I got stunned. And we got some detonation. I'm trying to just get to my special two, which wouldn't even matter because he would glance all of it. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I already know at this point what's gonna happen, okay? All right, so here we go. Ba ba ba, bam. All right, did as much as I could, but I can't block this or I'm gonna die. All right, and I did. Cause I'm like, I can't really, I don't know how to evade it. So I think it was this war that I was like, okay, I need to learn how to deal with that Ant-Man future. I'm getting sick and tired of messing up on him. But for now, I'm just gonna, you know, get him down, as you see. And you may notice, I'm not even healing up or anything. I am completely done with this fight, with this war. I'm, at this point, I am so upset that I'm just like, let me just finish. And I'm like, did I, I think there was only one um, red skull that I didn't lose an attack bonus on. Only that one. Died on every single other path fight. And I'm like, okay. Now, I got gore. And I know who is good for gore. My girl Claire. So I'm like, all right. I don't want to die over here again. This is the mini. And Claire is normally a very good counter for Gore. All right? So we're going in. Here we go. Everything's looking good. Getting nullified like crazy. And then I see those placebo buffs. And I'm like, hmm, okay, okay. And I don't have any um, charges right now, which is why I'm not nullifying uh, his buffs. And I'm like, hmm, I need to calm down and do a little something, something. Here we go. Yeah, much better. See my charges now? Now he's not getting no buffs, all right? Bam, right into another one. Boom, loving it. Yeah, keep coming, keep it coming, all right? Once we got him and he's immune, yeah, we get all those nice charges. So yeah, we ain't worried about a regen. See, nullified. Long as we got our charges, we good. We are very good. Now, the one thing I don't want to do, I do not want to push him to a special two. Don't want to do that. I can block it, but I don't know how to evade it quite right. So look at this, hand him up. So I'm like, yeah, finally, we gonna go. I could have went all in there, but with the shenanigans that sometimes happen, I'm like, nah, let's bait that out. Because then my special two might not have taken him out. And then he would have had a special two and probably took me out. Probably go unblockable suddenly. But anyway, we got him down. Now, how'd that look? I die on every path fight except one. And then I solo my mini. Not a good look. Not a good start to the season. I'm going to tell you that right now. But anyway, uh, we'll be back in a minute. And you guys will find out how this war ended.
And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Take a look, guys. This war did not go well. Shout out to our MVPs. But yeah, didn't go well. And uh, a lot of us apparently were very rusty. And um, hopefully we'll get the dust knocked off of us. Uh, this went a long way toward doing that, I'll tell you that. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.